for STEM ambassadors. I can't even get it out. I'm so excited. Uh, and we are thrilled to have uh, all kinds of fun, sciencey things to talk about today. STEM ambassadors is our weekly segment. We air on Fridays talking about great things going on in STEM with girls and women. I have a great girl. I have a great woman. Uh, this is Josie, my daughter. There she is, Josie. A lot of people have watched you grow up over the years. Uh, and we packed you up and sent you off to the Science Center this week every day. Yeah, packed you up, that's right. And uh, <laughs> you got to hang out with Miss Robin mm -hmm. from the Science Center, one of our favorite guests here on Donovan right. Live. So we're thrilled to have you back. So Josie, um, the week of camp that you selected was Art Tech. Yes. Why did you choose Art Tech? Well, mostly you chose it for me. <laughs> oh, snap. Uh, well, this um, is... <laughs> But still, um, I like art and I like technology. Exactly. So. It was a pretty good fit, right? So yeah. what what kind of projects did you do this week? What kind of things did you talk well, about? Well, we did like 3D printing, galaxy stuff. Okay. Um, we also had to talk about a sculpture mm -hmm. that like um, you can like use a fan okay. um, and there's a part of it that will move, uh -huh. but it won't fall over. Okay. Well, let's talk about some of this because we have some of the projects that you did. Mm -hmm. This is your galaxy. Yeah. And it's very cool. How did you make this? Um, so we took black paint and we did the background and uh -huh. then a few, um, the next day we, um, we painted. Swirled more on, more paint. You know, oh. um, we did the, this part. Uh-huh. And the then, texture. Yeah. It and then, um. Yesterday we did the white splatter. Okay, paint. and then you said you also 3D printed, and this this right there, that's here. Set it right here. Let's do that. Let, there. let them get in. That is a 3D printed dragon that Josie did. Now she was talking about this thing, Robin, all mm -hmm. week. That's all it was focused on was 3D printing. She was very excited about it, and she pulled this thing out, and I was like, well, that's that's a lot smaller than I thought it was going to be. It's already broken a leg off, but what happened? It was in a very hard war. There it is. So we have a story for that. Robin, how do you bring art and tech together? So that's always a challenge. What we like to do is have the learner really decide how much they are interested in learning. And I'm with you, Josie. 3D printing is one of my all-time favorite things. In fact, I've moved one of our 3D printers to my desk. Mm -hmm. So I was able to make this for Sweet. you all. I've made an owl. I've made a cup. Like, There's Jeez. so many possibilities when it comes to 3D printing, from artwork yep. to functional things like cups. And really, it depends on what the learner wants to do. You know, some of them have a lot of experience with the actual designing part, but they've never seen technology in action. So we try to give introductory experiences as part of our daily programming, mm -hmm. and then workshops and camps, Why? so that we can do a much deeper dive into those pieces. Why do we have a pickle? And what well, is this thing in? So this is our pickle torture device. And uh, one of the other things that Josie was able to do was to make a bracelet that uses an LED light that will complete a circuit and light up. So okay. we're going to turn the lights down just a little bit and we're going to see how that electricity moves through certain objects. So this is just plugged into your standard outlet, 120 okay. volts, but there's a lot of sodium Whoa. in pickles. Yeah. <laughs> it's starting to Whoa. So just like an LED will light up, a pickle will light up when exposed to an electric current. That's so cool. It's Do another not try smoker. that at home, right? Yeah. And then we have these popsicle sticks. Josie was all over this. What's Can up I with pop this? It? Let's pop it. Watch. <laughs> <laughs> so this is a craft stick bomb, and it uses Ooh. energy, which right? is all around us. You can't create or destroy it, but you can definitely transfer Ooh. energy using art. Can I turn and the pickle? Yeah, off? let's let's stop torturing the pickle. Burn the pickle. Oh. 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 Here. A little stink. So yeah. This. So this was a. Uh, artwork, craft sticks that you just weave into one another, and, and when you remove it, that energy gets transferred and it creates a bond. So, so cool. It takes not only a lot of engineering, it takes a ton of patience. Yes, we we <laughs> have to work on this, so that's a great project for us. Josie, did you like the camp? Yes, yes. I did. Awesome. Robin, thank you for fun. joining us. Thanks Always for the camp. Fun. There's more camp possibilities mm -hmm. through the rest of the summer at the Great Lakes Science Center. Josie gives a two thumbs up. I do too. It was a great week. Uh, and you can find out more information on what camps are still available through the rest of the summer at WKYC.com.